Hey guys, and welcome to a new series. That's a new Let's Play series. You guys are probably wondering, like, where's Risk of Rain? I don't feel like playing Risk of Rain. <laughs> Unless you're getting good. I wouldn't say I'm getting bored of the game, but I just, I want to do something new with Risk of Rain. And the one thing that I want to do is get people to join me in the game, but I, I haven't given anybody any notice or put up any video like that. So I decided, you know what? Go ahead and take a break from Risk of Rain. So. Nightmare Tower was a game that I'm planning on playing, I was planning on playing after I was done with One Finger Death Punch. And then there was another Let's Play series that I was going to do after that, but I decided, you know what, I'm going to put Risk of Rain on hold. I'm going to play One Finger Death Punch and Nightmare Tower, go ahead and beat them and, you know, get all my uh, fun out of these games. And then I can start in that new series, which I've been planning for a while, because I didn't want to have to wait all the way until One Finger Death Punch, because One Finger Death Punch is being longer than I thought it was going to be. Then do this, which I'm not sure how long it'll take me to beat this game, and then do the new series. So we're going to put Risk of Rain on hold, we're going to beat these two games, and then, uh, someone typed to me on Skype. Uh, why? Someone don't, don't type to me on Skype, stop. Hold on. Alright, sorry about that. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and complete One Finger Death Punch and Nightmare Tower, then, uh, Risk of Rain, well, new, first, whatever series gets done first, Nightmare Tower or One Finger Death Punch. The new series will go up, and then with, when the other series ends, we'll go ahead and put Risk of Rain back. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and play this game. Yes, I want to erase all my progress. The only progress that I have on this game is uh, when I played on the live stream, and I was playing on, you know, uh, doing a let's play on this game. So, uh, so far, I think this game is actually uh, pretty interesting. So, uh, hopefully, it will be fun. Hopefully, my A button will work. Hell yeah. Like, look at all the bitches I can get. Hell yeah, I'm gonna go after the tower. <laughs> so, uh... Not sure how long uh, each video will be. I'm going shooting for like 10 to 15 minutes uh, each video, but... Uh, but, uh... uh definitely, uh, I can't... I can't, The thing is, I cannot actually see... Oh, I, I need to get better at this game. It's been such a long time. I'm actually uh, using the Xbox controller. But uh, it's been such a long time since I played this game, and... Uh, what am I trying to say? The screen, I can't make it any smaller, and it's pretty much like almost the size of my screen. So, I literally cannot like make it smaller and actually see the time on Camtasia. So, uh, I guess each episode... Well, I wouldn't say that. Uh, I'm, I want to say that like I can do like... I don't know how many rounds each episode. Oh, save one princess. Like I said, I'm not completely sure how I'm gonna do this. Oh, it's catching. Lava's catching up to me. Lava's catching up to me. And I'm about to die. Oh, there's a heart. I fell. But what's cool about this game is that you can actually um, upgrade your character. So that's why this game will have a little bit more replayability. Because. Uh, Oh, I found the lava. Oh, saved one princess. And she gave me some gold. You have a chance to see gold coins appear after slashing a foe. Okay. Oh, saved her. So I can actually go to the shop and upgrade my character. I can get like, there's a lot of things to upgrade. Like, look at that. Must, okay, to get potions, I have to save third princess. And it's like achievements, quests. Yeah, I'm not gonna skip any quests, but uh, you know, I can get uh, more health, hit harder, uh, attack, f uh, hit faster, uh, you know, launch farther, then gain all of these. So, uh, you know, there's definitely going to be a lot of uh, replayability in this game. So, you know, like I said, I'm not sure how long this series will be, but hopefully it'll be an interesting one. Uh, that was actually really bad. What are you talking about? Like, I timed that terribly. Oh, shouldn't have done that. I thought, it was, I thought his spikes were going to go away a little bit earlier than that. Damn it, I am doing terrible. Anyway, if you want to go ahead and pick up this game on Steam, you know, the link is always going to be in the description. So this is actually going to be more work on me because uh, not only do I have to create a new playlist, upload the video, edit all the, the, the uh, descriptions to say that like, there's the new series, but I also got to change my trailer video. I know you guys probably saw that I put up a trailer video on the channel, but the trailer video has all of the current series on the channel. 
and I have it saved on my computer so whenever I can just I can just simply just change out one of the videos so I can just simply just take off risk of rain and uh, put uh, this series so I gotta re-edit that video put this new series in there then re da take down that other video re-upload this the new trailer video which will be exactly the same except with this video then put the playlist and it's just a lot of work a lot of work for me all right so I Form two quests, so I fill up my combo meter to generate speed boost thrice. Okay, I uh, still so performed first launch and I got 150 gold, so completed those and moving on with new quests. Split apart a total of 75 miles. I haven't done that right and reach 500 meters in the tower. Okay, give me some gold. Oh, I can go to the shop now. There's actually some things I can purchase. So, uh, if I hit harder, I'll do more damage and kill more enemies. But I think I'll start off with this getting more speed. Wow, and to upgrade that again will be super expensive, so... So now I get plus two speed, and the more speed I have, you know, the farther up I can go, so... It's probably one of the most valuable upgrades in this game. Also, I need to get me a new Xbox controller. Because this one is, uh, starting to... My, the, once again, the A button. It's always the A button. My E button always starts to break on my Xbox controls because I slam it in so much. So like literally if I if I don't hold my controller at like an angle, it'll get stuck and I'll continuously attack. And that it that even happens on uh, when I'm trying to do videos for uh, like Dragon Ball Z League. I need to up my attack so I can start killing these guys in like two hits. Cause these these eyeball shooting guys, it takes me way too long to kill them. Fuck it, I'm about to die anyway, so I might as well just spam attack. Just do the best that I can. I am seriously about to die anyway. Nope, I died. And then I fall into the lava. <laughs> Alright, so I got that reward. Collect a total of 15 items. Ah, uh, well, I'm, at least I'm gradually getting better at this game. So, yeah, I need to make myself stronger. Ooh, look at my new sword. Oop. Oop. Oh. Okay. I accidentally exited out to the main menu. There we go. Finally I performed a good launch. So there we go. Now I have, uh... Better damage. So hopefully I can start... Killing some of them enemies in like... Two hits at least. Cause... Those enemies, the spitting ones, it took me three hits. It was taking me way too long to kill them fuckers. Oh, yeah, they die in, those guys die in two hits now, and then the guys that usually took two hits now die in one hit. Oop. That was bad. So I should be able to kill these speeding guys in, like, two hits now. Yep, two hits. Good. And I got that achievement. I believe that this game was actually on, uh like iPad or something and then they decided to play on the computer and I was like wow this game is like like I thought that the game mechanic was cool but then I saw that you actually ha can like upgrade your character and I was like oh yeah I gotta I gotta do this I gotta play I gotta do play on this game okay I just kind of thought alright new enemies who take three hits <laughs> great so that's when I upgrade my sword to do more damage now I'm like oh man those enemies that take three hits to kill I hate killing them they take forever to kill but now there's new enemies <laughs> Oh, I am doing pretty good this round. I mean, of course. I like that this progression. It's kind of like it's kind of like a uh, Rogue Legacy, where you know this may you may not win this round, but then you get your upgrades and you do better and better and better. So, oh, save another princess. Look at me go. Well, that's it. <laughs> the lava caught up to me. I wasn't going fast enough. But I saved uh, two princesses. New item: bomb level one. You can now have a chance to see a bomb level one appear after slashing a foe. Saved another princess and. Power potions. Okay, I can purchase potions up in the lab. You could total of five potions. Take out ten monsters with bombs. Okay. Give me that money. All right. So now we have potions. All right. Potion monsters have a chance to drop haste. Okay. Well, sure. Leech. Extraction power? I don't know what that is, but it's too expensive for my blood. So not right now. 
A luckier knight will find more and better loot. Okay. Loose speed due to air friction, so I can go up in the air faster? I don't, I don't know. Generates a speed boost to 20 high. Okay, that's my speed boost when I go faster. Uh. If you move and attack faster, I mean, there's no shame in attacking faster. Attack speed's important in games and stuff. So, uh. That was terrible. <laughs> His spikes go on for a lot longer than I anticipated for him to go on. And they don't open up as fast as... You know, I was expecting him to, as soon as he starts glowing... Oh, there's a potion. Oh, there's the bomb. Okay, okay, okay. The controller is doing its thing again. So if I get a combo of 10, I boost up in the air farther. So far, this is a this is a nice little game. You know, this is something that I totally don't mind. Just you know, once every blue moon, just sitting down and playing, just like a uh, one finger death punch. So, oh, collected fifty items. So I accomplished that. See, and every single every single run, you as long as you play decently, you'll accomplish something. Wow, as soon as I got that health back, <laughs> oh, I ran right into that. No, I want that health. I need the health. Damn it. Yeah, bomb. Em. Wow, and it, it seems like as soon as I get that health, I end up losing it. Damn it, I wanted that heart. It went away too fast, though. Give me the health, and then I lose it. Yep. Yep, and then I gain it, and then I lose it. And then I gain it, and then I lose it. That was a pretty good run. Split part 15 enemies not getting hit. I'm not sure if I can do that. I'm not that good at this game yet. No, I didn't want to do that. I want to go to the shop. I don't think there's anything I can purchase right now. Lunch faster and lose the speed when falling down. I mean, that's important. I'll go ahead and purchase that. And, uh, an extra life is meh. You know, I'm not that good at this game right now. I guess that's important too. Alright, so how much how long is this episode? I'm not sure. Ah, yeah. Uh, that's a pretty good time to go ahead and end this first episode. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, first episode of Nightmare Tower. So be sure to support this series by giving this video not only this video, but all the videos in the series a like. So uh, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next time with some more Nightmare Tower.